Hi, I'm Tony Eels on behalf of the Dogs Queensland Video News Channel. I'd like to welcome you to the Caboolture Kennel Club. Today is Sunday the 24th of March nine, uh, 2019. Our general specialist judge today is Mrs Di Jovanovic and uh, we're going to be outside the ring today filming in because it's quite a warm day and we need all the shade we can get. So. Right now we're going to get ready and here come the dogs for general specials. We are toy group winner, which is the Maltese. The Maltese is an import from Italy. Lovely young dog. Look at all that hair and look at all that grooming. That takes a lot of commitment. Lovely example of the breed. Doing very well in this heat on the table. Our second dog is the Fox Terrier. The gun dog today is the English Pointer. Here's an orange and white. Uh, you can tell the difference between orange and white and a lemon and white with the colour of the nose. The orange and white has a black nose and the pigment on a liver is a liver nose on a lemon. We have the Afghan Hound was the winner of group four. Group five we have a Border Collie. Lovely example of the breed, nice working dog. Group six is a Malamute. The largest of all the husky breeds, a sled dog, used for pulling and dragging sleds through the snow. And group seven, we have the Peruvian hairless. These are a very primitive dog from Peru, and they come in black, or the charcoal slate color that we see there, and also in a red, which are ready tan color. And these were all of our Best in group winners, the judge is now going to go over the Maltese. The judge is just examining the, the top line and the construction of the Maltese, which you have to feel with your hand, considering all that coat that's there. The handler is just putting all the hair back in place before we move off. Here we are doing an out and back, so you can see what the dog looks like confirmation wise coming and going. And I'm here to tell you this sun is very warm today. Here we go, nice small circle showing the side gate of the dog. Its tail carriage is moving and its head carriage. Reach and drive. Now we're waiting for the group two dog to the table. Apparently she's wandered off. We're just waiting for her to come back to the table now. It's a very hot day here. Everyone's looking for shade wherever they can find it because there's not a lot of it I'm here to tell you. This is a male fox terrier. I believe the judge, Mrs. Jovanovic, actually did the terrier group. Is that lovely fox terrier movement? A strong dog, of course, bred to hunt rats, go down a hole after a rat. Those long, strong jaws. Going round so the judge can get one last good strong look at their side gate and the profile of the dog as it moves. Next is the gun dog, it's the pointer. Mrs. Jovanovic was a long time breeder of German short haired pointers, so very familiar with the gun dog group.
checking the top line, the series of graceful curves. And she's sending the, the pointer on a diagonal out and back to give the dog a bit more space to be able to move. I want to see that lashing tail. And very typical point of movement at front. Dish in the head. Wonderful breed of dog. A personal favourite of mine. I do have a, a couple of pointers. And uh, this young boy is, is doing quite well for himself in the show ring. Now we have the Afghan Hound. Afghan is a very primitive breed of dog used in Afghanistan, in the deserts, for hunting. Even though Afghanistan may be hot, they didn't normally hunt in the peak of the day. It's way too hot for that. In the early morning and late afternoon, they have incredible eyesight. They are a sight hound, which means they hunt by a sight. Uh-oh, we have clean-up on aisle three. <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm expecting she'd be able to, maybe a little lighter on her feet now when she moves around the ring. We try this again. Let's see if she bounces a little higher on those toes. Afghans traditionally are a very aloof dog, very fond of their family and not very fond of anyone else. They're not an aggressive dog, but just aloof. They just pretend that they can't see you. That clean saddle down the back and the lovely flowing coat, very popular dog in the 1970s. And here we have the Border Collie, a classic, classic working dog in the herding group, in the working group or the pastoral group, depending where you are in the world. The Border Collie is very famous with this part of the world. In Australia and New Zealand, some of the most magnificent Border Collies in the world have come from here. We're always looking for that stealthy movement in a Border Collie. They are an incredibly smart dog and very easily trained. He's a lovely boy and has won a number of best in shows. Now we have the Malmute. Big striking upstanding dog. Quite a large coat and built to pull heavy, heavy sleds through the snow. More often work singly or in a small pack rather than Siberians which have a large team of dogs, sled dogs, but these dogs quite often work on their own. Much like a draft horse. Very free moving dog. He does look a little warm, though his double coat will help to insulate him from the heat, probably better than we're doing. And last of all, we have Pippa, the Peruvian hairless. The Peruvian hairless, up until January 1st this year, were in group four in the hound group and they've just moved back to the non-sporting group. Yeah. There was some conjecture whether they were actually a hound or not, but the per and they have been moved back to the non-sporting group.
group. Pepper is out of two Peruvian imports. As you can tell, she had a bit of a look at me. She actually does know me. Here she goes, the last dog. We'll have all the group winners in and lined up. They're gonna line up across the top here. I'm fairly certain the judge, Mrs. Jovanovic, will be fairly quick in awarding best in group. Uh, best in show, sorry. She's getting the ribbon ready. We have the terrier coming in. The Maltese is heading to the top of the line. Here comes the terrier. So just taking one last look. Here's the pointer. The Afghan. The border. The Malamute. And last but not least, the Peruvian hairless. Ironically, the Peruvian hairless does actually come in a coated a coated breed as well. So Peruvian hairless coated. It seems a little crazy to me, but I didn't write the standard. The Fox Terrier has been awarded Best in Show. Well done to the Fox Terrier. We're now waiting for the runner-up in the Fox Terrier group uh, in the Terrier group to come in, and it looks to me like it may well be the Dandy Dinmont, known to his friends as Gavin. A stunning breed, short-legged breed, English Terrier. They are quite characters. Runner-up in show is going to be awarded to the Malamute from Group 6 has been awarded runner-up in show. We're now going to have a couple of quick seconds before we have baby in show ready. Looks to me like the first baby we're going to have into the toy group is going to be a baby chihuahua, smooth coat. We're looking for group two. Group two is, looks like a Stafford, maybe? I would say, yep, we have baby in group two in the Terrier group is a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Group three is a Golden Retriever. Group four is going to be the Afghan Hound. Group five is a Finnish, sorry, Finnish Lapwind. Group six is a Siberian or a Siberian Husky to its friends. And group seven is the Dalmatian. These are all of our best baby and group winners. First to the table now, of course, is the Chihuahua. The Chihuahua, of course, was made famous in the movie world by Bruiser from the Legally Blonde movies. Every time I see a baby Chihuahua, I want to see it in a necktie and with some accessories. Very popular breed of dog. They're very cute. And as you see, we'll be full of attitude, tail up. Tails wagging, lovely temperament, 
Must be scary when the world is so big compared to you. And next is the Stafford. Staffordshire Bull Terrier baby. You can see the pigment spots on the skin, That's the, the coat is actually white, <coughs> but the pigment spots are actually on the skin underneath. Next baby is the Golden Retriever. Golden, of course, is a very popular dog with families. Three keys that you always remember. KFC is a golden retriever. Kind, friendly and confident. Very happy little chappy. Next we have the Afghan. His puppy coat growing in, his facial hair. About this stage they start looking like little monkeys. It's quite funny watching a heavily coated breed as they as they grow from puppyhood into adulthood. Because one of the hallmarks you want to see with an Afghan is that ring tail. And he goes. Actually looks like a sheave, but the Afghan hound. Now we have the Finnish Lapwind. Spanish left hand is from the working group, or a herding type of dog. A squeaky toy is being used to try and get the dog's attention, get him to move a little better. Now we have the Siberian on the table. <laughs> Siberian is a very popular breed. So if you're watching this and wondering about the different breeds of dog, whether they be in group one through seven. Uh, Durac, there's the Dog Queensland website. You can have a look to see when the next show is gonna be on there here, usually a couple of times a month. And you come along and you can meet breeders and talk to people if you're looking for a purebred dog. Um, come along and meet some of the breeders and meet some of the dogs and to see if you're looking for a specific breed or maybe you'll find a breed that you don't know about that will change your life forever. The Dalmatian, the group seven dog, tails wagging, 
a happy dog. This lady showing this dog, of course, is Fran Darling from the famous Paceaway Kennel. Fran's been breeding Dalmatians for a very long time and is an all breeds judge. The top winning Dalmatian of all time in the world actually was one that Fran bred, a dog called Vino. We're coming around, going to move the babies around to the top of the line, set them up in the sun, and then the judge is going to award best baby in show. As they're all setting the dogs up, Best baby in show. Judge is walking down the line. Stravanovic's the golden retriever has been awarded best baby puppy in show. Congratulations. And on behalf of the Dogs Queensland Video News Channel, I would like to wish you a great Sunday afternoon and a great weekend to all. We're going to wrap it up here. On behalf of the channel, I'm Tony Eels. Until next time, have a great day.